Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to solve uh, candle verb being a deflection due to self fight. In previous problem, we have used efficient software and uh, ASDK, code master ASDK to solve the same problem. But in this case, we are going to solve using Salameca as the study. So the material property is to Young's model is 210 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0.3 and density is 7860. So this is our model, a simple uh, beam, one end we are fixing. So in Z direction we are giving gravity. So this is a deformation. So this is stress. Now we'll go for, we'll open Salomaca. Salomeca is the so free and post processing. It has free and post processing software, and it has a solver called Codest. Now go for geometry. So a box, one meter, point one, and point one. So just fit screen. This is our model. Apply and close. Now we just want to create a group to apply the bound, fixed boundary condition. I'm just naming this as fix apply and close. Now we can save this file pictures code aster gravity load beam gravity using salamica. I just save saving here now. Now I have created geometry. Now we will move into mesh model. Mesh. Select this box one. Mesh. Create mesh. So there are different algorithms that to generate the mesh. Now I am going to use this one as hexagon. 2D quadrangle mapping. 1D wire discretization. Local length. Here I am specifying local length 0 0.02. OK. Apply and close. Right click this mesh one and compute. Now we have created this external mesh. If you want to see inside the mesh, you just right click here, go for clipping, new. So any one of the plane we can choose. It has taken XY plane. Just apply it. So this is a mesh inside that geometry. Now we can untick this one apply close so now we have done meshing now we can go into uh, aster study go to aster study so i'm just you keeping this table okay so now you can see every options are disabled so in current case first we what we want to do is just right click this current case there are different options so this is for simple analysis we can use this assistant so otherwise we want to add it manually just go for add stage now you can see everything is enabled first what we want to do is we just want to read mesh go to mesh there is an option called read mesh read mesh so now just select this mesh MAD format just apply this is the command it will generate at the back. Save OK. Now we just want to define the model. Just go to the second one. Here CC. Assign finite element. Now we just choose the finite element. Just click this plus button. Everywhere you just apply it. This is a mechanic analysis and 3D model. So everywhere mechanic 3D. OK. Apply. Say okay. Now we have done. We have done defining the mesh. I mean reading the mesh and model definition we have done. Now we just go for material. First what we want to do is we need to define the material. Just go to define a material. So this is our is a linear elastic isotropic material. So material. Here we can name it as steel. Linear isotropic edit. So Young's model's position ratio is uniform linear static analysis. We are doing a 
gravity analysis for the densities required. So this is 210 e power 9 0.3 and 7860. Everything I am using as a unit. So this is in Pascal Newton per meter square. 0.3. There is no unit per Poisson ratio. Density kg per meter cube. Just say OK. Just apply. Here you see E means Young's modulus, NU means Poisson ratio, Rho means density. Just apply. Say OK. Now we have done defining the material. Now we can go for assigning the material. There is an option called assign a material. So just assign to the mesh, assign to the model. Now we need to choose the material. So everywhere you just apply to everywhere. So choose steel, save OK, apply, save OK. Now we have done. So we have defined the material, we have assigned the material. Now we need to create we need not to create any functions here just leave this one go to boundary condition assign a mechanical load if you want to assign thermal load variable thermal load we can go for it now I just want to assign um, mechanical load a feature mecha is a command so load first one is gravity so here you can see gravitational in French this is decenter so it is coming in the command just go to edit so here the gravitational constant we need to specify so gravitational constant is 9.81 now just go to here so in which direction you need to specify the gravity so I just want to specify in z direction minus z direction so here minus 1 remaining we make it 0 because everything is mandatory you can see it here so this also we need to specify 0 and 0 here group of element we can specify otherwise it will apply to hold the body so need not to specify it's not mandatory just save ok now we have applied gravity so same command we can use it for fixing also go for force impose click it here edit these two are mandatory here you can see group of element fix I, ju I just want to fix it save ok in three direction I need to fix it 0 0 0 0 save ok just apply it so first it is applying the fixing boundary condition next it's applying gravity gravity constant is command is gravite and direction it's applying in that direction here you can see it now apply save ok now applied boundary condition everything so pre analysis need not to do anything free analysis here just skip this one go to analysis I just want to do static analysis in statics you just go to the second option static mecha static is the command so material field modeled here there is an option called load just tick this load here choose this load save ok remaining you just keep it same just apply it save ok now we have defined the solver also this is our solver mecha static is the solver now we can go for post processing to calculate these stress, directional stresses as well as one misses call champ is the command just name same name you just give it wrestling here constraint what it will do it will calculate directional stress sigma l no is a directional stress in element directional stresses in node similarly there is option called criteria equivalent l no equivalent node so remaining here results choose the mechanistic result model material field remaining you just keep it same just apply save ok now we are calculating the these stresses from the solver now just fracture and fatigue will leave it just go to output save the output set output results 
so there is no name for set output results just click the three dots just go to the folder I'm saving here as result dot rmed this is my name I'm giving here just click this one edit we need to choose mesh we need to choose result here instead of mecha static go for wrestling called champ here there is one more option it's called tau champ just make it yes whatever results we are calculating in call champ that all the results will be saved we need to view the results so mesh results remaining we just keep it same save ok format to make it MAD just apply it save ok now you can see there is no red color it's showing that means we have we are uh, created the command or we have set up the setup we have created is correct one now we can solve this case now go to history view click this stage one click this pin button also it will keep the results here you just save this five seconds and run it so so you should have saved the study before executing the observation message it shows say ok it has to save this save it now run it Now we can see it has sorted correctly and it's showing it green color with tick mark and also message also you can see it here diagnostic job is okay if any error comes you can see it here the same command file you can use it for ASTK also so if you want to go to the location message file this is the message file graph progress it's showing here So now we can go for viewing the result in Paraview. Just go to Paraviz. Right click this built-in open. Now just go to where you have saved it. Code Aster. Here there is beam gravity salum. The result file is result.rmd. Save OK. Now we can see all the results are saved here. Just apply it. Now we can see the results one by one. Just go to displacement. This is the displacement plot. This one is the displacement one. We can go for z direction. If you want to see the uh, deform shape, just click this deform shape, make some scale and apply it. Now, yes. So, this is the way in Z direction is getting bending. Now, similarly, just go for equal stress, one meter stresses, just change the color pattern. Now again make this into 12. So this is a stress due to sulfate of the cantilever beam. Here there is a compressive stress, here tensile stress. Because it's bending like this, here it is compressive stress, the, here it is tensile stress. Go for deformation. So it's bending in this direction, that's why it's showing negative negative z direction minus value so in that we have learned how to solve a cantilever beam due to self fight in salomica so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you